how did it go? I hope you were able to work through the challenge yourself. But if not, don't worry. I'll walk you step by step through my solution now. For step one, I used a conditional to check the string password with the variable db password. I used triple equal, which compares both the value and the type. In this instance, the double equal would work as well, comparing the values. Either way, the string should not match the stored password because the stored password is a hash. For step two, in the password hash function, I specified the bcrypt algorithm, but you could also use the default as well because that is currently set to bcrypt. I've also printed the hash password to the screen so you can see how it changes every time. For step three, I've simply compared the new hash to the hash from the database. Again, these should not match because the hash changes every time. For step four, I'm now using the password verify function. I pass my string password as well as the db password. This function should return true because the hashed password in the database is actually password. For my bonus, step five, I simply use my save user function and pass the new user, test2, and the hashed password. Let's take a look in the browser. The first line you see is the stored password. Next, we're comparing the string password with the hash. Notice that these do not match. Next, I'm showing the hashed password. And each time I refresh, it changes. So this hashed password does not match the hashed password in the database. Finally, I'm verifying that the string password does actually match the hashed password in the database. We verified the passwords match. Now, to test that my user2 is actually in the database, let's go back to workspaces. I'm going to comment out this line because each time it will update user2 with a different hash because our save user will also update any existing users. Now I'm also going to go up here and change test1 to test2. Now when I go back to our browser, we see the new hash, and again our password hash is changing, and finally we verified that the passwords do match.